she's a fan of fans on. Um, yeah, another a bit, bit more about that um, website address. What's happened is that now, because people won't be able to order from that website address, well, not fishing equipment, shall we say, um, <laughs> the problem is, is that the owners will not be able to get into that account because they and they can't which means that the owners well it's, I think it's registered at GoDaddy the website address it's been registered for years uh, the problem is that they can't get into and this is the problem with GoDaddy accounts because I've lost 70 domains this way right? it's the chances are the owners, the, the original owners, founders, or what you want to call them, of this website address hanging in the rack, not code that you can, will probably have two factor authentication on that domain, on their domain name account at GoDaddy. Which means, which is basically a lot of people now will just use their phone. Right? Okay, they, they won't, they'll have PCs and whatever, and they'll have, um, Computers, whatever, yeah, other multiple different ways of actually getting into that. Yeah. But the problem is, they won't be able to get into. Let's just say they have the their a code, a two-factor authentication. If you phone up GoDaddy and you say, "Right, well, yeah, this isn't me," they'll say, Let's just say that they've actually had the they've set up the owners of the original owners have have set up the email notification so that when if you find up GoDaddy they will say we've sent you a author authorization code to your phone if that's how they said they wanted it either the phone or the email yeah? if they've said they wanted it to set to their email they can't get into their email so they can't communicate with GoDaddy to reset to their password to get into their GoDaddy account which would allow them to then delete the forwarding to the adult website which is in the forwarding part of the website but they can't get into that account because they won't be able to access the two-factor authentication GoDaddy use and if they, for people that use their phone only, they can't do it either. Because if they use their phone and they, they lose their phone, they can't communicate with GoDaddy over their website address because they can't. Because GoDaddy will send it to the original registrant's phone, and if they can, if, if that's bus broken or they can't get into it, they can't retrieve the code that GoDaddy would send it to the phone that they can't access. To then be able to quote that number to the operator on the phone at GoDaddy, who then verifies, so they can't verify that they are the owner of the website address, even though they are the web, you know, because of the two-factor authentication. Which means they can't get into their domain name registrant's account to be able to get to the forwarding part, which is directing it to the adult website address. To delete the forwarding of the adult website address. And in that situation, I would only put if that was the case, and you could get into it, I would delete, I would add a different website address into it. So it redirects anyone that wanted to actually try to redirect it into um, someone they wouldn't want to be really redirected into. Which could be called their IP address and all that. Um, but that's the problem that exists with the main names, and people are so out of date with society that they don't realise that you need to understand the main names because the main names are the future of the internet. Without the main names, there isn't an internet. That's how powerful the main names are. And that's why the, the best ones are selling for millions of pounds. And the, the as much as the website addresses are valuable, 
the redirects of the value of the website addresses are even more valuable because they can be redirected into an affiliate account which makes millions from ad dollars affiliates. Which is this is probably making a fortune for a certain affiliate account within the adult website address that, is, but that this account has been redirect that that website address has been redirected to. The affiliate account has actually probably seen an increase in ad dollars. Which I think is, and the only way to do it is to close the adult website down and see who bleeps, and that's usually going to be the person that's redirected this one into that one. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just but it's, the sort of website address stuff and that, that interests me because yeah, I buy website addresses for investment. All good fun. Adios.